Once you log in to Optimize, you can connect your Google Analytics account with this Optimize account. Just click on Settings, and Link to Analytics will appear as a button. Click on that. Go ahead and select a property, and then choose Link. The next thing you want to do is install the Optimize snippet. So you just copy this right here. Returning to my dashboard, I'll go to Appearance, Customize. Then I'll go down to Code. And then I'll select Head Code. And then I would just paste my script right in there. And you'll notice it's right beneath the Google Analytics as well. All right. Back here in the container settings, we can see something about the, it says install the Chrome extension. This extension right here is the Chrome extension. And basically you have to have it, or the Chrome optimizer extension, and you have to have it to do this kind of a test. To do this specific kind of a test, which is an AB test. There's a redirect test, which you can also do, that does not require this extension. So let's do this first test, the one that requires the extension, and see how this works. All right, so let's create our first experience. I'm gonna click that button, create experience. I'm gonna give it a name. Ooh, my first experience. I'm gonna choose the URL I've already set up. Testing FTM. This will be an A-B test. And now I'll just click create. And now it asks me to add a variant. Now what you're actually doing here is adding a placeholder for a variant because you just say, give it a name and you're done. There's really nothing else you do here. And there it is, variant one. Now it wants to know what changes, what's different between variant one and the original. So to do that, you're gonna click on edit. Now this launches this visualizer or this visual editor, this optimized visual editor. And it goes to the page that you've designated where you want the change and there it is. And my page is loading and you notice how I float my mouse around. It can actually select these different things on the screen that it, that it wants to change. Now, here's the thing. I'm going to make this change, but I'm not in the WordPress visual editor. This is not happening in WordPress and it's saving it to your, to your account up in Google. None of this is stored in a WordPress database of any kind. So I'm going to go ahead and edit this element and I'm going to call it secondary content. And done. And then the all important save in the upper right. And done again. Okay, now once that's finished, it takes you back to this screen where you can put in a description. Here we go. Done with that. You notice that it is using my analytics properties, so they're all hooked up, and that this experiment has an ID. You just need to add an experiment objective. I'm just going to say page views. And one of the functions of the Google Chrome Optimize extension is to verify your installation and make sure everything looks good. So without that extension, you can't do that. So let's go see it in action. Oh, one more thing. When we're ready, we need to, of course, start the experience. Click the start button. It'll go on all pages with the Optimize snippet. Well, as you saw, I put the Optimize snippet in a location that gives every page access to it. So I'm gonna click on start. All right, now it's running. Okay, I'm at my testing page. Now I'm gonna go ahead and refresh and let's see what happens. Okay, it seems to be the same. In fact, it's not changing very much at all. But when I check it in another browser, sure enough, the secondary content appears. There's a lot more you can do than just change text. You can change the colors of buttons, add HTML. You can do a lot of things with the uh, Chrome Visual Editor for Optimize. But in my testing, I watched that slow down the content loading on a page by up to 10 seconds. It seemed to resolve on subsequent loads, but it makes me a little bit nervous for page load speeds. Another problem comes in if your visitor has any sort of security plugins or uh, extensions installed in their browser like I do. Here I've had the DuckDuckGo Privacy Essentials extension installed in Firefox Developer, which I've now activated to demonstrate the problem. 
Now, as I attempt to refresh, you're going to see that the primary content loads. Now I'm refreshing again and again. I'm hitting F5 on my keyboard and the primary content isn't changing and that's because of this extension. It's blocking whatever communication that um, Google Optimize needs to have with the website. The next kind of test is called a redirect test. Essentially, it redirects a visitor from page A and sends them to page B. So let me go ahead and create the experience and I'll show you what this means. So I'm gonna just call it my redirect test. And that's a redirect test, that's the type we want. What is the URL of the page you'd like to use? This is gonna be your editor page. Well, I have a page set up for this already. You'll wanna have one ready as well, called test A. Great, okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and create the experience. Now it's gonna ask me for a variant. In other words, so which page is the variant of test A? And I'm gonna go ahead and say, well, I want to name it variant one, and it's called test B. Pretty easy. So here's your original, and here's your redirect. I'm gonna say that's great, click on done. Now I'm gonna go down here and I'm going to give it a description. This can be important based on what you're looking at. Maybe you're just wanting this for a specific test group. So you could call this uh, weekend test group. Let's go ahead and click done. You can see I've already got my property hooked up, so that's fine. I do need to add an objective. Page views is fine. Go ahead and check the installation. Should come back just fine. It'll visit your page. It'll tell you no major issues. Let's go back to the experience. Takes me back there where I can finish it off by starting it. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on start. All right, now my experience is running. Let's go back to the web page and let's see what happens. All right, so I'll switch back to the uh, site where I'm doing the test, which happens to be my website. And I'm going to enter test-a and see what happens. And the A-B test kicked in and it forwarded us to test B or redirected us there, which is a completely different looking page than say test A. The only downside I can see to this approach is having to manage multiple pages that are uh, mirrors of each other of some kind, uh, which isn't too terrible. The redirector itself doesn't seem to take any time at all versus the other way with content injection on the same page, there could be a significant load time delay. And I'm not sure what that would do on mobile either. So this would be my preferred way of going about things would be to use the redirect test, but there might be others that would have you know, a different idea on that. But as far as I can tell, this one provides the most flexibility with the least amount of issues.